I'm Scott Nell, President of Teradata Labs. I think it starts with the corporate culture, and I've seen it with different companies that I've worked with and worked for in the past. And certainly our culture is one of very much putting our customers' needs first. It's, it's, it's pervasive across anyone that you talk to inside of Teradata, and I think that's a good cultural foundation to build then on the notion of co-innovation co with customers. If customers have a specific requirement and we're able to understand that because we have that good level of intimacy with them, then we can take action on it and sometimes even help them drive their own ideas internally for their success. We have a lot of examples of co-creation. We, uh, we are not a business to consumer company, we're a business to business company and we have about um, 12, 1300 customers. And so uh, that's a manageable number that allows us to really know and understand our customer, customers' needs uh, very clearly. And so we have a number of touch points that our customers have with our core engineering team, whether it be through online forms where they can submit uh, requests for change or updates to, to uh, products whether it be having our customers participate live in our product advisory council, which is a formal program we have set up uh, that lets them get their uh, ideas into us, or whether it be through ad hoc meetings and a lot of the customer meetings that all of our executives and leaders attend, including myself. And so we have this really good working knowledge of what our customers need. And some examples that we've delivered include some big content in our most recent releases. We added a number of extensibility uh, objects to our database that were actually driven by two e-business customers. And it wasn't just that they submitted a request and said, gee, we'd like to see this. They actually called us with a requirement and we had engineers dedicated to building out specific requirements that would meet their needs because we also understood that meeting their needs would meet the needs of all of our customers. Co-creation's never been easier because of all of the different social networking kinds of software that's available. And I'm not suggesting uh, necessarily people use uh, uh, Facebook, although some companies do use Facebook to understand the sentiment of their customers and some leaders actually use our technologies to do that. But really the whole notion of social networking and there's a lot of open source um, uh, capability available for companies to deploy, whether it be internal wikis or whether it be internal social networks, where people can share ideas uh, without fear and kind of show off to one another. Uh, I think the biggest thing uh, that is an enabler of co-innovation in today's market is with all of these new touch points that all of our employees and customers have, it's very easy to communicate and it's also very easy to uh, stoke the competitive juices inside of engineers and innovators to show off for their peers. And in doing that, they actually create some really amazing ideas. I think it gets to Teradata's culture. So it's not Teradata's users group, but it's really Teradata partners. And because our customers and our customers' success is so important to us, uh, the whole program is actually run by a committee of our customers. Um, I have the good fortune to serve on that committee as a non-voting member and, uh, and to help out in any way as a number of other Teradata folks do. But all of the key decisions, whether it be um, conference theme, uh, conference content, uh, specific uh, presenters, are all selected by our customers based on their needs and what they think the needs of their constituents and other customers are. Uh, Teradata has some really good technology and it's been recognized by industry analysts, it's been recognized certainly by our financial results in the market and other things. So uh, we're really proud of what we've built and what's really amazing is that we've had a leadership position with our technology for a very, very long time and that's hard to do. And I think uh, one of the key ingredients obviously is in that um, great working relationship that we have with our customers and understanding what their needs are and what their needs are going to be year after year after year. But also I think it comes with the dose of paranoia that we all have that somebody else is going to invent something that we've missed. And I think it's a combination of striving to serve our customers' needs and their values and our own internal paranoia that helps us stay ahead of the game.